Well, I'm excited for this. Perhaps the most star-studded opening round tournament matchup. And your main event of origin. Christ is accompanied by his associate, Bobby Olson, one of the few people in this sport that he trusts. And a lot of controversy, some praise and some criticism has been leveled on Jake Christ at some of the, let's say, extremes he will go to to illustrate his point. You heard him introduced as the fire starter this is a man who had a disagreement with a promoter and his course of action was to take that promoter's uh, championships and set them on fire to get what Jake Crist feels that he rightfully deserved. And I'm gonna stay out of that whole ordeal, but bottom line is that Jake Crist will wear his heart on his sleeve. He will defend what he believes is right. And sometimes what Jake Chris believes is right is not necessarily the viewpoint of the general populace. But Jake Chris has been competing for 19 years now. He is one of the most prolific athletes to ever come out of Dayton, Ohio. And I don't think we've ever seen Jake Chris in, in better physical shape, or at least not for quite a long time. Body fat's down, he's leaned up, he's focused, he's determined, and he's dead set on being the first TSW champion. Castle. appreciate the energy and enthusiasm of the party peacock. Dalton Castle got a couple of his uh, baby chicks with him this week as opposed to uh, some of his boys. Of course, Dalton Castle, the reigning Ring of Honor World Six Man Tag Team Champion, along with the Tate Twins, Brent and Brandon, the original boys of Dalton Castle's boys. Check out the majesty, the pomp and circumstance. Our adult castle in his element. Uh, nobody sets a tone in quite the way adult castle. Imagine if this presentation, if this aura becomes the first ever PSW title holder. It could happen.
Dalton has uh, been a Ring of Honor World Champion. He has been a television champion. He's held regional championships. Most places he's been. And certainly it's... Must be tiring being Dalton Castle. Somebody's got to do it. Do something with your life, too, while you're at it. Pick up a hobby, model airplanes, gardening, origami. These are all suitable hobbies for an adult man. Okay. That is good. Stop giving life advice to our official. I'm not really sure why at this point. I'm just enjoying the moment. Dalton's always so unpredictable. We don't know what's going to come out of his head, what's going to come out of his mouth. I know Dalton defeated Cody Rhodes to become Ring of Honor World Champion at uh, Final Battle 2017, the signature event of their calendar year. So Dalton can score big in big match situations. Dalton literally broke his back for that company. Jake Chris loves to get inside people's heads. I'm not sure what he makes of Dalton Castle. And here we go. Dalton can get in your head and play mind games. He can power. He can mat wrestle. There's not much Dalton can't do. Dalton is very uh, overlooked by many. Outstanding amateur credentials before becoming a pro. Jake Christ complaining in the early going. Chris knows all the tricks of the trade as well. Jake Christ could be. Could be. Emphasis. Your first TSW champion, but. One would argue, I think it's debatable. I'm not taking anything away from anybody else we've seen compete tonight. One could argue that these two men have the hardest path to get to the final four. Uh, yeah, Pillman's tough competition. Myron's tough competition. Everybody's tough competition. VSK, Sam Bill, yeah, not denying that. But I don't know that any of them are more decorated over a longer period of time than Dalton Castle and Jake Chris. And uh, you got to believe that Trey Lamar, VSK, and Eric James are all glued to a monitor somewhere. Because they're going to have to start scouting for one of these men. Come October, for the semifinal and potential final opponent as Dalton Castle tries to open up with the right hand and got the knife edge chop on Jake Crist. Jake Crist didn't want to stick around and feel any more of that. Oh, that's the worst spot. Dalton gonna cat call and criticize Jake Chris from the stands. You suck! You suck! You suck! Now Dalton feeling pretty good about himself. Building some momentum. The baby chicks have not stayed ringside with Dalton, which is uncharacteristic. Does that mean that we're getting a different side of Dalton, a more focused Dalton? I think it may be as he rides Jake Chris now, amateur style. Jake's looking for a rope. He's looking for salvation, wherever and however he can find it. End of the ropes and 
Referee will request and receive a break. You don't want to get disqualified in a prestigious tournament like this as Jake Crist tried to adjust and regroup and another vicious Dalton Castle my fitch chop. A head and arm throw overhead, nicely done. Dalton's got such great uh, uh, positioning when it comes to his weight, the way he can pop and swing his hips on some of these takedowns and throws. Uh, you know, something that, that really takes years to learn and, and master. And Dalton's been studying pretty much his entire life. And Chris in a bad way. Notice Dalton is focused on the small of the back, neutralized. As Jake in a defensive position to say the least, will Jake Chris tap away his championship aspirations? And Dalton sent Jake for the ride, and Jake reversed, and Olsen, Olsen picked the leg of Dalton Castle, and that diversion allowed Jake Chris to follow through, take Dalton down and attempt that pinfall. Talked earlier in the Myron Reed matchup about the great talent that's come out of Dayton. The likes of Jake Christ and Sammy Callahan as veterans helping mentor men like Trey Miguel and Zachary Wentz and Wes Lee and Myron Reed and Ace Austin and many others who have become world travel commodities. Jake Christ has so much knowledge to pass on. And oh, again, also taking a cheap shot. Dalton Castle, any moment that referee is diverted, it's like he's a sitting duck. For a two on one assault, and now Jake Christ has Dalton under that toe. Oh my God. Oh, what a violent collision that was. Come Dalton on, Castle catapulted into the bottom of that turnbuckle pad and may have hit some of the steel behind it as well. As Dalton was deep in the corner. That pad is meant to, to shield a, a thick steel bolt, but it's not a pillow, folks. It's not soft. And oh, Dalton tried to, another chop. And Jake Christ ducked out of the way. Dalton may have broken his hand. Dalton. Oh, Dalton. Jake Christ has, has found a big time weakness on Dalton Castle. And Dalton is in a great deal of pain. Chris sends, oh, sends Castle face first into that rig post. And the post has been the definitive enemy of the party peacock in this, our main event of TSW Origin. And Jake Chris can get a count out victory here. And it's just as valid as a pin or submission to moving on. But Dalton not going to let that be a possibility. Jake Chris pressing the advantage further. Chris showing some impatience toward the referee, but Chris continues to wear away. We've seen Jake Chris have success in Impact Wrestling and appear in Ring of Honor and CZW and internationally. And Jake Christ has a decorated, long-standing resume that is about to hit two decades. But Dalton Castle, you see the fight at medal in him as he still tries to get something together, but it's Jake Christ with the knee. Side Russian leg sweep, Christ great float over into the cover. And Chris now a submission hold. The arms are, are, are grapevine. They're trapped. 
Chris just putting pressure on the neck and crimping it and stretching it forward. Basically stretching Dalton's body in two opposite directions. And Dalton, a great counter. Dalton was able to roll over and alleviate a lot of that pressure. And from the outside, Dalton Come Castle fight it. No, 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 no. Oh, well, Bobby Olsen doesn't like me. Well, Dalton could hit the banger bang on the floor. This match would assuredly be over if Dalton pulled that off, but Jake Crisp may have saved this match for himself. I'm not going to condone the eye rake, but Jake Crisp. Wait a minute, Dalton Castle. We're going here. They're going back. They're, they're back towards the locker room area. That's back in our tech area. And now, and now they're on the stage. Jay Chris and Dalton Castle are brawling throughout this building. And I applaud the referee for sticking with them and not doing a, a count out here. We, we saw earlier in the Myron Reed Trey Lamar match. Hey, there must be a winner. We got to have a decisive conclusion. And we're going to get one no matter what. And this match is Jay Chris trying to suplex Dalton Castle. On the stage, Dalton trying the same. That could be a game ender for one of these athletes. Maybe both of them. Wait a minute. Oh, Jay Crest. Jay Crest dove on Castle. And Castle moved out of the way. Jay Crest off the stage, and he ate about a half a dozen chairs in the process. Well, if Jake had connected, Dalton would have would have fallen down with him underneath them. And that would have been the end of this matchup for sure. And it still might have been. I don't know what Jake Crist has left. Dalton is, is, is measuring Jake Crist. They caught him with a kick second time. Dalton's pressing the advantage. Dalton is making sure Jake Crist doesn't have a response, does not have an answer to this. Swing and a miss by Crist at Dalton Castle. Puts every single ounce he has charging through with that clothesline. And Dalton, we're gonna muscle Crist up, maybe German suplex, we won't know at any point what that was. Hey, Bobby Olsen. He was being a nuisance and tried to hold Dalton into the place. Into place. It didn't work. And Chris, another awkward spill. Olsen again being a nuisance. Chris may be hurt. And Dalton just knocked out Olsen. Long overdue. Jake Chris trying to take advantage like he did earlier. But Dalton Castle, with Jake Chris prone and trapped, charging through. Dalton Castle is feeling it. Got ranch overhead suplex. Drop stab, deep crotch. Over with the exploder. Dalton showed some of that amateur base. German suplex this time. Don't ever underestimate the technical savvy and the technical prowess of Dalton Castle, but Jake Crisp do whatever he can, measured him with the elbow. And Dalton! Deadlifts Crisp overhead enough, no! And that was close. And it's Dalton who immediately cinches into a chancery on Chris. He wasn't able to put him away, but he, he being Dalton, was not going to give Chris an opportunity to rebound back into this matchup on the offensive. Jake Chris reverses. And oh, Dalton got hung up though first on that ring cable. That rope, that cable, call it what you will. 
Dalton Castle is in a bad way now. Jake Chris the crossbody. Will it be enough? No. And Jake Christ is swinging for the fences. But Dalton finding a way to stay alive. Christ. Gravatt looking. Snapmare driver. Not sure what it was, but either way, Dalton found a counter, finds an elbow. Jake again, great counter wrestling. Back and forth. Oh wait, Dalton Castle! Has Jake Chris caught into the bangerang? Dalton Castle, the cover! And Dalton Castle advances to the final four! Dalton Castle is your victor, and he will join Eric James, Trey Lamar, and VSK in the final four to determine first Tri-State Wrestling Champion. I can't wait to be here to see it. Only one man can last in this war of attrition. Ladies and gentlemen, find out more about Tri-State Wrestling at TSPW Pro Wrestling on Twitter and Instagram or TriStateWrestlingOnline.com. For everybody here, I'm Joe Dabrowski. Thanks for watching. We'll see you at Gold Rush.